The new Taco Bell has opened in Shenzhen, and I'm very excited. I'm going to have to go on a pilgrimage soon. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rojo Reads the News. I'm your host, Paul. Remember, if you like what you see, consider supporting me. A couple of years ago, I was in Shanghai, and one of the very first places I went to in the Pudong district was Taco Bell. After living in China for a few years, uh, there are certain things from back home in the States that... Uh, I have not had the pleasure of enjoying. One of them being fast food. You know, I know it's unhealthy, but I love a good hamburger and fries, and I love fast food. Now, Taco Bell is not the greatest food in the world. Uh, I fully admit that. You know, um, coming from Southern California, I know that a lot of people would say it's not real Mexican food. Uh, <laughs> I actually have friends who work at Young Brands in the upper echelons of the corporation, and, and they will admit to me the same thing. However, being from America and knowing Taco Bell's place in our society, in our culture, where it stands, I think, I think a lot of other Americans can uh, appreciate uh, the nostalgia that I have for a place like Taco Bell. Well, let's read this review from That's Shenzhen. Uh, we finally tried the new Taco Bell in Shenzhen. It recently opened. Uh, don't have to go all the way to Shanghai for Taco Bell. This is by uh, Rakini Burgundy. I've read some stories from this writer before. For this Taco Bell excursion, we decided to bring along Summer, who's from North Carolina in the U.S., a true Taco Bell connoisseur. She went to Taco Bell a fair amount back in her UNC days at Chapel Hill. I have a very good friend of mine who's a who's an alumnus of that school. When we enter Taco Bell, we're pleasantly surprised by the modern dark decor, kind of like the fancy Pizza Hut locations you find in China, but with purple accents. The hostess kindly instructs us to order from a tablet on the counter or scan to order at the tables. That's, that's a new thing that's happening here in China, by the way, is uh, the waitress that comes and takes your order has been disappearing from every restaurant. There's a little QR code on all the tables, you scan that, you order on your you order on your phone. This is both convenient and inconvenient, especially if you have trouble reading Chinese. Oh, look at that. It does look good. Woo. This just looks like heart attack in a bowl, but I I want it. <laughs> Taco Bell is currently running a summer crayfish promotion uh, on until September, where you can get crayfish stuffed in a hard shell taco or in a power bowl. What we also noticed were the alcohol options on offer. Draft beer and cocktails from 20 to 32 RMB. Wow, I can have a beer with my Taco Bell now. Oh, good Lord, <laughs> I can already feel it. <laughs> oh. Soft served ice cream for 12 RMB. That's less than $2. And churros, 12 RMB for two. Sadly, the Crunch Wrap Supreme was nowhere to be seen. Ah, darn it. So here's the uh, 49 RMB, two Taco Supreme combo. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, come on. That I, I know it's Taco Bell, but that does look good. This is the hard shell taco and beef and the soft shell with chicken. Hard shell. Ah, tastes just like home. Just like those 3 a.m. drive throughs 3 a.m. drive throughs When you're coming back from the bar, coming back from the club, you hit up Taco Bell, man. <laughs> In my home, it was Del Taco, which is also really, really crappy food, but... Taco Bell, Del Taco, you know, six to one, half a dozen to the other. Uh, I don't know about this. It looks like a pita. Why is it in pita bread? The picture didn't look like this. It's also a bit too creamy and full of cheese. Lemon tea. Doesn't taste powdered or artificial. Dare I say, tastes natural. Well, that's a good sign. So here's the crayfish hard taco shell for 29 RMB. Couple churros. Says, tastes like a poor man's fish taco. At least the shellfish is peeled. If you like crayfish, at least the work is done for you. It comes paired with a tangy sauce. I can go without this. I'm a huge fish taco fan. Nothing beats Wahoo's fish tacos back in Southern California. Rubio's fish tacos were okay. I, I can deal with those as well. Chicken quesadilla. I don't need to buy a chicken quesadilla. I can make these at home very easily. A safe option, packed with cheese, chicken, no frills. The churros. Nothing beats churros from Disneyland. They are the best, but... They're good, crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, but nothing to dip with. In the picture, it shows sugar dusting, but too bad there's no chocolate sauce, sugar, or dolce de leche. White peach oolong tea. Mmm. 
Why is it so foamy? Ordered this thinking it would be fizzy, but just a floral peachy oolong tea. For some reason, the foam was quite thick. Our verdict, we go back if we were in the neighborhood for a quick convenient meal or some late night munchies. After all, Guangzhou is just a short train ride away. Overall, probably not the best review ever of Taco Bell, but uh, looks like they've got some interesting things on the menu. Probably be a good experience. I'd love to go and have a couple tacos and a beer. Next time I'm in Shenzhen, which is coming soon, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit this place up. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know.